Hi, I'm Star Shepherd Decker with Radical Revelations, and I'm making a video today because I'm tired of being perfect. So that's the name of my video. I'm tired of trying to be perfect because my ego's idea of perfect is the super, super high expectation that I'll never ever meet. And as long as I keep trying to attain that, I will always fall short. And I'll always feel like a failure and nothing will ever get done. And so in the background of this video, I've got a mess and my hair, my hair might be out of place and my face might be a little greasy, um, but I'm showing up and I'm making this video because I want you to stop trying to be perfect too. Um, because the truth is, is that we're already perfect. And what I mean by that is we are made up out of divine perfection. We each have a pattern for our own unique expression of perfection in us already. And so we don't have to keep trying. We are already brilliant and amazing, but we're not perfect in the sense of sameness or righteousness or better than. Um, if you were to go out into a forest and all the trees looked the same or were the same height, would you feel at peace? Or do you like going into a forest where each tree looks different and has its own unique quality and is bent in a different way and is reaching towards the sun in its own unique way? That's what life is. Life is diverse. Life is big. Life is vast. Life is exciting. And it's more exciting when I try to stop making it perfect my way because I've been trained by the society, by the media, by movies, by books, by magazines, by friends, by peers, by well-meaning loved ones to look a certain way, to act a certain way. And if you're not going to be that, then you probably shouldn't show up. And I don't want to play that game anymore. And you've been taught that too, that whatever you have isn't good enough or isn't big enough or isn't sparkly enough. And I'm here to say bullshit. You have something that is perfect just the way that it is, but not in the perfect word that your ego likes to define that perfect where you get to be on Oprah. Maybe you don't get to be on Oprah, but maybe you're perfect anyway. Maybe your perfection is in your smile. Maybe your perfection is in the warmth that you feel. Maybe your perfection is in what you give to your loved ones or how you show up for a friend. I don't know, but you do. It's calling for you. It's calling to be expressed through you, but not in that way that the perfectionist ego judge of our mind wants it to show up. And if, the, if we let that part of us, the resistance, the perfectionist be in charge, we'll never do anything. And so I'm here today to declare that I'm done. I'm done trying to be this ideal of perfect. And I'm going to allow myself to show up in messy videos and messing up words and saying the wrong thing and stumbling and falling, but in doing something and moving forward and taking the next step towards myself. And so I ask you, what are you going to do? What if perfect in that ideal sense of the word didn't exist for your ego and you could just be the perfect that you already are? Would that change the way you do things? Would that change the way you approach your life? Would it change the way you feel inside being yourself? Because the world is waiting. The world is ready for your unique flavor of light that you have. And don't let your ego get in the way of allowing that light to shine. And so today I declare I'm done trying to be perfect the kind of perfect that the world says I'm supposed to be. And so I'll curse and I'll mess up and I'll stumble and I'll fall and people won't like what I have to say, but some people will. And some people will be so glad that I said it. And I hope that you're one of them and that you found me so that you can be reminded of the brilliance that you are and it doesn't have to show up the way our ego says it's supposed to. Just be you. And that's enough. Thanks so much. This is Star with two R's, Shepard Decker, signing off, wishing you a happy Thanksgiving weekend.